כמה סטנדרטים? לא, אותו רון. כמה? הוא על מה? דודי. לא, לא, לא. with my great grandfather from my mother who was a sheriff and he was darker than you but he was my grandfather and from my mother's side I think this could be the gene in my blood actually that I love Africa not because I was born in Cairo or in Egypt because maybe the character of the two grandfathers from my father was Egyptian from the north my father from my mother was Adam very dark definitely she could know that definitely that's why the gene of my grandfather from my mother was strong uh, I love Africa because I lived through my childhood. Not we were, we were, we were from a poor family, but we have at that time to understand the value of the penny and the half a penny and the quarter a penny as a, a gift to a child. We didn't have the luxury that you have. We didn't have the facilities that you have. One pence a day was all what you have. A homemade sandwich was a sandwich that they took to school. Children, the elder brother used to give his clothes to the younger brother, his shoes to the younger brother. The elder sister used to give her skirt, shirt, and dress the younger sister. The auntie bring the clothes to the relatives. This is the way we live as families together. Sharing the same room, sometimes sharing the same bed, it depends on the income of the father. Mother is there 24 hours to look after us. And father is there to help us as well. Walking to the school, when we play in the street, we wear sports shoes. It used to cost us 20 pence or 30 pence. You have to be careful of not cutting it. <coughs> Playing with socks football, which we made it by our hand. Because the other ready-made one, which you buy from company, is very expensive. The gold boss with stones to put in the middle of the road. Didn't have any sports club. We never been to a sports club. We don't have this kind of sports activity and gym and all these sort of thing. Walking or taking the bus. Even taking a taxi was a luxury. Taking a taxi was a luxury. Taking a taxi was a luxury. Our idea in Eid was five pence, ten pence, twenty pence. And everybody was happy to wait for Eid and to save the money for the other Eid. And this is how we live through this limitation of resources. But the joy inside the heart of the people who live this time. Why I'm feeling very uncomfortable and very sorry for you because you have not seen these days and you will never see them. Safety, but productivity. We used to work and study when we were in the primary school for about five, six hours every day studying continuously. Secondary school for the A level up to 15, 16, and 20 hours a day. No time, no sleep. People do sometimes didn't have electricity at home. We used to stand underneath the big lights in the middle of Cairo. But they went to the medical school, they went to the engineering school, 
and they went to all the dental schools and the pharmacy, pharmaceutical schools and others, standing uh, down underneath the line till the Fajr. And when the Fajr comes, they pray and go home. These are the generation which let you to live to see this era. If this generation die and you don't capture it. How did they achieve it? To become a great law. <coughs> we are not less than anybody else. And we will never be less than anybody else. Because we cannot afford to be less than anybody else. Because we have something that nobody else has. And we can give to others what nobody else can give. Can give. No one can give what Allah gave us. And no one and give us the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam guys us for us. We don't want all the time to be shadow, shadow, or numbers mentioned. No, should not be abused by others anymore. That's why my belonging to Africa is fundamental. Because Africa is wrong. <coughs> Africa is stone. Africa is full, and we are watching, hypothesizing our philosophy of thinking, our culture, our religion, and our values. We don't stand for what Allah created us to stand for, will never be mentioned. It will be a drainage, as mentioned before, in a drain. Humanity will never talk about us. But one day, when these people realize that we are the Muslims and we fail to shine up, they will curse us in front of Allah. And they are cursing us now because not, we are not giving them the good example of our character. Huh? Tell them Islam and good believing in the message of Jesus, peace be upon him, is a, is a value of the morality of the individual and the manner and the etiquette of the individual. That's why when I say that I love Africa, because Africa is something you feel in your heart. Not something you talk about. Africa is not a story. Africa is a living mission. Africa is not a movie. There's animals and plants and fruits and greenery. Africa is dream, future, aspiration, resources, and solution for the problem of the humanity. That's why the robbers are here stealing all its resources making this huge gap between them and the people in Africa. And unfortunately, I look at Congo, I look at Sierra Leone, Liberia, I look at South Sudan, I look at Somalia, Central African Republic. Central African Republic to Chad to Niger. All these countries. Gambia. Mozambique. I say hello. Haram. Haram. <coughs> enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's where advocacy has to come. To be the prime 
message on the table. That's where we stand to Surah Al Ma'un. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدْعُوا الْيَتِينَ وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طَعَامُ الْمِسْكِينَ Have you seen the people who deny the Day of Judgment? The one who deny the Day of Judgment is the one who treats orphans badly and the one who does not advocate for the need of the need, the food of the need, and the food. Allah mentioned this three times in the Holy Quran, more than 1400 years ago. And we are not doing it because we are scared of losing funds from such people now. And we do not sometimes, or we sometimes forgot that the provider of the funds is Allah. I'm very happy with the eight or nine days. That I have been with you here because I learned the law. I learned to follow you, but this is something I was expecting. Because I believe in the field, in spite of the fact that I did not have the honor to live or to work in the field, but I was a traveler. All the time. I, my expectation, and he was there without blinking. I believe in the value of the people here. I believe in the value of the right holders, not beneficiaries anymore. Not beneficiaries anymore. Not beneficiaries anymore. Right holders. Okay? That's why it met my expectation. I'm not going to flatter glory and brother, because I know that this is their, their quality. Their quality. We need to rise to the quality, no matter what language you speak. Our quality will be measured when we deliver. And the delivery starting from tomorrow. For what you promised, Fatima and uh, Asma and Aisha, Asma is my second daughter. Gloria joined the club, with Gloria with you, and Aisha with you. To get your book, come on, Sutta, come on, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, brother. If you write the book, if you write the book, it might make a difference. But the book is not book written by somebody who has got 50 or 60 years experience. But people have the heart, the vision, and the future in their hands, inshallah. Aisha, Fatima, Gloria, and Hajar. And he is the boss who is going to check on you. He's not going to check on you anymore. Alas. So I love you. And really, I learned a lot. I travel with you to learn. Don't ever think that I'm a teacher. I always, when you ask me to go anywhere, I travel to learn. And I learn. The more you learn, the more you educate, the more you guide, the more you teach, the more you help, the more you build, the more you save, the more you let people to create your own legacy without asking them about what legacy is. Even sometimes people take your legacy. I said, what do you mean? Legs? I've got two legs in front of them. That's more than enough. I didn't understand what the word legacy was. The reason. Somebody explained it to me. I said, okay, take it. I don't have it. But anyway, thank you to all of you, brothers and sisters. And it's an honor and pleasure. 
and you can carry on working on that day. In that day, our book, I get Sister Fatuma, I don't like her, I don't like her. Fatuma or the Fatika? Which one? Whichever makes you happy, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of writing this book came in the plane. It was a plain discussion. And they are going to deliver it. And you are going to be very proud of them. Inshallah.